Press releases are a great SEO opportunity because you can target a specific keyword and you can weave that keyword into your press release, which is very Google friendly. My name is Jason McDonald, director here at the JM Internet Group. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to write an SEO friendly press release. Let's get started. Okay, so writing a good press release uh, for search engine optimization goes through a series of defined steps. So this uh, part one, I'm going to show you how to write a good SEO friendly press release and there's going to be a part two YouTube video where I'm going to talk about syndication, about pushing that press release out uh, through free and paid services. So here's our steps. We're going to define our target keywords, good SEO. We're going to know the keyword targets that we want to show up on Google for. We're going to write a great effective headline, keyword heavy, and a good meta description. Those are also called the kicker and the title uh, on the news release service. We're going to write an introductory paragraph that's going to have our link opportunity. We're going to write a quotation paragraph. We're going to write great keyword heavy body for the press release with our contact information. And then we're going to conclude by uploading that website, uh, press release to the website and making it one click from our home page. All right, so over on the instructor links, you can go to jm-seo.org slash 33. That's your code for getting into the uh, instructor materials. Uh, or you can just click on the link in the YouTube uh, video description. That'll get you to all the class materials. So what I'm going to work with here, I have a couple press releases I've already done. And I'm going to show you how to do these press releases, okay? So let's review our sort of class material. So we're going to work with this press release. I've got it syndicated. I've got it on our website. So it's sort of like the turkey's already been cooked. I'm going to sort of show you reverse engineer how to build the turkey, so to speak. Uh, in the uh, instructor links, I also have a nice little worksheet for you uh, on how to write a news release. And that's a little PDF document. And we'll go through this. This is sort of a recipe, uh, as it were, to how to do this. So the press release we're going to work with, it's on our website, and it's up there already. And I just want to use it as an example. I'm going to use it in the second uh, part of this for syndication. But what is this press release targeting? This is a press release about a list I put up on Amazon of the best social media books. Because I'm targeting searches, people are looking for social media. They're going to type in best social media books, top social media books. I'm going to be coming out with a book on social media, so I'm getting all my SEO uh, in line so I can show up uh, number one on those searches. So I know my phrase, social media books. So the first thing I've got to do is keyword research. Let's talk about that. So we're going to write a good press release. We're going to think about our target keywords before we even put pen to paper, before we even write the release. We're going to think, what are the keywords that I want to drive, uh, get to the top of Google for? So I'm going to do that keyword research. Let's just review that. Uh, how do we do good keyword research? So I have the links uh, for you. Let's talk about a couple easy ways to do this. Go to Google, type in social media books, pay attention to Google Suggest. See the years, 2011, 2010. See that best. People look for best social media books, 2011, 2012 social media books. Do the search. On the left-hand side, show search tools. Related searches, again, what do you see people search for? Top, social media, social media marketing books, list. So list, best, books, social media, social media marketing. I've done my keyword research. Go to your keyword tool. I have the keyword tool in the instructor links. If you don't know it, you should. Type in your phrase. Check this box here, check phrase. Look for what shows up, and you can see here best, top, etc. So I have a good sense of my target keywords. That's step one. You have to know the target keywords. Now, I'm going to start writing the release. So I'm going to take that target phrase, social media books, best social media books, list of social media books, and I'm going to write a good headline to the release. Okay, so let's sort of tear apart this headline that I've already written. So here's my headline. This is also going to be my title tag on my own website. It's going to be the headline on syndication when I syndicate. And let's look at the phrases in here. So I knew, I did my keyword research best. Here's my real target phrase, social media books. I know people do what? Search for the year and search for list. So I've written a strong keyword heavy title that has my target 
keywords and helper keywords in it. That's my title. The meta description is also called the kicker, and that on a press release will appear in syndication. So I just use my meta description for that. So I write a good keyword heavy meta description that also becomes my uh, kicker um, on my syndication. Step two. All right, so now I've written a good title, good meta description slash kicker. Now I need to write my keyword heavy intro paragraph and think about link opportunities. So in a good press release, your first paragraph sort of is the main idea of the press release. You want to make sure, obviously city, state, date, that type of thing, make sure that it has the target phrase in it. So best social media marketing books. Now I know that's the phrase I'm going after. If I'm using a paid service like Vocus PR Web, I can actually make that a link, and when it syndicates, Google will pick that link juice up. On a free service, you can't do that usually, but on paid services, you can. Regardless, your first paragraph needs to be keyword heavy with a link opportunity. So that's in, in good shape there. All right, now let's go back and let's see. So we've done that. Now we're going to write our quote paragraph, and the quote paragraph is the second paragraph in the press release. Again, try to make these as cookie cutter as possible so you can churn these guys out. I recommend doing two press releases per month on your website minimum. So your quote paragraph is just sort of a quote from the boss, says this is the best thing since sliced bread. What do we do? Keyword heavy. We get the keyword social media, social media marketing, books, best, all that jazz in the quote paragraph. That's next uh, thing on the list is the quote paragraph. Then after the quote paragraph, we're going to write our body, and we're going to make sure we have a target URL, a target web address, where we're going to send the traffic, where we're going to send the link energy. Okay, so let's look at this paragraph. So. Paragraph number three is essentially for more information, go here, why I'm trying to drive traffic, drive link juice. This one is off our website, but I'm trying to drive traffic to an Amazon page that I've built of best social media books. Why? Because I want to show up on that search. Let me show you a Google search where it's already been done. So you go to Google, you put in best SEO books. Number one result is my list on Amazon with my book because I built press releases, I built energy into this, so I'm getting ready for that on my social media book. I'm building a press release, driving traffic, driving energy to a URL. So you've got to have a defined URL in the press release where you're going to send your link energy. Okay, so I've got that defined URL. Let's talk about density. Okay, so what is the density? We're going after this phrase, social media books. Now for you it could be industrial fans, it could be uh, best uh, dog boarding place in Miami, it could be hypnotherapist New York, it's whatever your keyword targets are. SEO 101, good keyword density, go control F is in Frank, let's type in the word social, and let's hit highlight all, see all that pink? So I've got good density for social, I've got did good density for book, I've got decent density for list, I've got decent density for 2012. So I've written keyword heavy text for the whole release, nice keyword heavy text that's going to attract Google's attention, be very uh, prominent for my target keywords. And at the bottom of your press release is just boilerplate about your company with your contact information. So I've written a good URL target, I've written good keyword heavy syntax. All right, so now we've written the press release, let's wrap up on that and then we'll talk about uh, structural issues. Let's go back to our instructor links. So let's look at this PDF worksheet that I've created for you. This is sort of a recipe how to write a keyword heavy and SEO friendly good press release. So first thing, establish your keyword target. What are you going after? Write a good headline, a good title tag. It's going to be your news headline. It's going to be your title on your website. Good meta description. That's also going to be the kicker when you syndicate it, so write a good meta description, have some H1 tags in there, your header tags, think about subdividing that press release, URL reference, where are you going to send the traffic to, where are you going to send the link juice through, introductory paragraph, quotation paragraph, good keyword heavy density, follow-up details, this is your phone number, etc., 
syndication I'm going to talk about in part two of this YouTube. So I've got a good worksheet for you on how to write uh, that press release. Okay, so now let's talk about the structure on a good website. So on our home page, so here's the home page for JM Internet Group. Notice how we have one click from the home page to our new press releases. So one click from the home page, that's sending that link energy from the home page into the press release. It's going to pull that into the Google index. So you always want to have from your home page one click down to your most recent press releases. Structural relationships on the website. You also want a gateway page so that you always have a good link uh, connection between the home page and even some of your older press releases like the one we were looking uh, is May 2026. It's no longer on the home page because we've created a lot since then. So structurally, good link structure between the home page uh, and uh, the other stuff. All right, so wrapping up, we've written a good press release. We know our keywords. We've got it up on our website. Uh, you can download the links at jm-seo.org slash 33. Uh, that's get you to the PDF worksheet. And then part two, I'm going to talk about, okay, now we've got the release. We've got it on our website. Part two is going to be how to syndicate the release, how to leverage uh, free and paid services uh, to create buzz. So thank you so much for listening, and be sure to come back for part two uh, where we're going to talk about syndication of the press release.